Okay, just another day. Let's see what the internet has for us today. Liza no Atelier Two. 失われた伝承と秘密の妖精はこの冬発売。Wait a minute, what is that? Atelier Risa 2? Lost Legends and the Secret Fairy? What? 新たな一夏の日々が訪れようとしていた。Liza に出会う夏が再びやってくる。Extra thick! What's up, guys? It's Oblivious Gamer here. And I gotta say, today from that Nintendo Direct, we got news that I wasn't expecting. And that being that Atelier Ryza is getting a sequel, which is Atelier Ryza 2 Lost Legends and the Secret Fairy. And it's gonna be coming out on PlayStation 4, Switch, and PC this winter. Granted, from what we've known, I think Atelier Ryza, Ever Darkness, and the Secret Hideout, I think it was the highest selling Atelier title. So it makes a little bit of sense for them to. Want to continue pushing Ryza, and I think she's the first character to take on the hero role in two successive titles, which hasn't happened before ever for a Atelier game. Granted, we all know why Atelier Ryza did really well, and it's because of her personality. Now, all joking aside, I do think that Gust here struck gold with her. When she was first revealed, a lot of people, and I mean a lot, really liked the character design, and she was plastered all over my timeline. I remember my Twitter timeline was just full of like pictures, artists doing some drawings of her. It was insane. And to be honest, at least for, I I'm not talking about necessarily the Atelier fans, but at least I feel from a common、uh, JRPG fan who's not necessarily too into the Atelier franchise. I think Ryza is a very distinctive character that I think Ryza became one of those characters, became like a front runner, like a face for the franchise, at least when it comes to the, the average consumer of JRPGs or video games in general. Obviously, for the Atelier fans, Fans, probably other characters that for them are more memorable. But I think Ryza did a big impact, and obviously, it worked in the favor of Koi, Tecmo, and Gust because the game did well. And I personally enjoyed the game. I think it was fun. I like a lot the character designs, I like a lot the art style. And for me, like, one of the things that draw me into the game was like how everybody was talking about, or at least my timeline was just posted with pictures and、uh, drawings of her. And I came in. Thinking, like, oh, it has a cute design. I mean, I'm gonna give it a shot. And I do think a lot of people, or a good chunk of people that weren't aware or didn't play an Atelier game before, they probably, again, were attracted by the character. They were like, it left a big impact on them. And obviously, of course, you're gonna have people who were checking out the game for the thighs. But I think a lot of them probably ended up surprised with how good and fun the game was. And I'm one of those persons, like I said, I look at the character and I was like, oh, that's a cute design. I like a lot of the art style that they have showcased. So I'm going to try the game. And I was really surprised with how much fun it was. So again, I'm not shocked that they're bringing her again as a main protagonist. I do like her new look. We are obviously seeing a much older Ryza. We can already see her design. And I'm liking her new design. And I'm really interested to see where this is going to take place. Are we encountering,、uh, you know, one year after the first game, where this has been a couple of years? Where is Ryza? And where is the story going to take us? Because again, these are very, I like to call them chill games when it comes to the story narrative. Like, it's not like Ryza was this chosen one that was foretold for years that she was going to vanquish the evil god. Like, no, she's just an average girl, fell in love with alchemy, and she's. Just doing what she loves the most. And I really enjoy that. I had a lot of fun. If you haven't checked out the first game, you should definitely check out. I think they're running some sales on the main game and some DLC. But yeah, overall, very excited. And it's coming out this year. That's fairly soon. So I can't wait to check out Ryza 2. I think it's going to be something really fun. And I'm liking the direction that Gus has decided to take. We also get to see a brief glimpse of what looks like Claudia. I think it's Claudia. And I am assuming we're going to be able to see also Lent and Tao eventually. Maybe they're going to introduce some new characters that we're going to be able to play. 
I'm really excited. I can't wait for more information. Apparently, they're going to be releasing more details on the official website that's set to launch on July 29th. So that's fairly soon in like eight days. So very excited to check out more. So yeah, guys, this has been Oblivious Gamer. And I hope you'll have a wonderful day or night. Wait a minute. What is that in the trailer? An envelope with a red stamp? What?